Do you guys remember the day before, or as I like to call it, the scam before? This was a game that was announced in 2021, and it quickly became the number one wishlisted game on Steam. This game basically promised to be the next biggest zombie MMO game. Massive open world game with graphics that could be compared to games like The Last of Us. Almost sounds too good to be true. It was. Like I said, this game was announced in 2021 and it was planned to release in 2023. By the time the original release date came around in 2023, they had to delay the game. That trend went on like three or four more times, bro. They just kept delaying this damn game. Then it got to the point where it was starting to look pretty suspect. People were starting to doubt if the game was even made for real. So they scrambled to drop a trailer so they could prove that they were actually working on a game. Brother, this was the dumbest trailer I've ever seen in my fucking life. for November 10th. Okay, that shit was ass. What does this trailer tell us about the game, bro? They really had a dude driving around in an orange Lamborghini around some empty ass roads, bro. What is that? Not a single zombie in sight, nothing, bro, nada. And then they really hit us with this movie announcer ass voice at the end of the trailer. This summer, Ryan Gosling is Black Panther. Shut the f Long story short, this game finally came out. And let's just say it wasn't exactly what they promised. This game was on some Cyberpunk 2077 type hype. The shit these devs were promising, bro, there was just no way. And of course, there really was no way because that shit was ass. The game had a barren, empty ass open world. There wasn't even really a survival open world game. It really became like an extraction shooter of sorts. Of course, the game was riddled with bugs, glitches. It was damn near unplayable. The five people that actually got to play it only got to play it for about four days. That's right. Four days. The game dropped and lasted for four days before the company had to pull it off the store completely. They said they lacked the financials to continue supporting the game and shut it down and then shut the whole game company down. Translation, they took everyone's money and ran with that shit. GTA 5 type heist. This game legitimately lasted less time than Concord, bro. That's how you know it was deep fried. And honestly, looking back, we should have seen that shit coming, man. It was literally the most generic looking thing you've ever seen. Straight up font stolen from other popular zombie games. Even the name, bro. The name wasn't even original. They got sued by a damn calendar app, bro, because they stole the name from them. There's a calendar app called The Day Before. I'm not even kidding. They dead ass sued them because of the name. This was genuinely one of the biggest scams in gaming. So why am I telling you all this now? At this point, this was months ago. The game company shut down. It's gone and forgotten forever, right? Nope. Wrong. These people People just came back, bruh. They are back trying to ask for more money so they can make a new game. You cannot make this shit up, bro. 2020, you can't. After the day before was deemed 2023's biggest gaming failure, Fantastic asked fans to fund their redemption game Escape Factory through a Kickstarter. You go to their website right now, this is what you see. Introducing the Fantastic Plan for Recovery, Fantastic 2.0. Get the hell out of my face with that bullshit. They've got a whole PDF file for their plan. Let's look at it. What is this ugly ass shit? Fantastic 2.0, the plan for recovery, the plan for bullshit, I ain't gonna lie. Fantastic 2.0 principles, this should be good. Honesty. From now on, our development and marketing will be based on the principle of honesty. What the hell you mean from now on? From now on is absolutely crazy. So you're straight up admitting that before you just scam people, bro. Nice. We commit to building trust within our community through direct and honest communication. Okay. We commit to openly communicating the challenges we face without concealing any details. All aspects of our marketing will remain clear, transparent, and free from embellishments. Dude, that from now on is insane. I can't get past that. We understand the mistakes and absence of past communications. We commit to ensuring transparency and development and openly providing honest and comprehensive information. Bullshit. I like how they're acting like something happened where they made a big mistake. You straight up scammed people. You straight up took money out of people's wallets and ran, bro. That's not like, that's not redeemable. Professional. We are transitioning from a volunteer driven approach to one firmly rooted in professionalism. Our objective is to gather industry professionals and specialists and improve our existing employees skills. Who the fuck in their right mind would come to work for you guys after the bullshit you pulled, bro? I'm just trying to figure out. A key objective is the commitment to delivering high quality, innovative games that meet or exceed community expectations. Comprehensive testing and community feedback will improve technical quality, ensuring the final product is polished to the highest standards. Oh my God, bro. I feel like I'm reading some shit Ubisoft would say, you know what I'm saying? They're talking about enhanced brand identity. No. The rebranding process will be completed to align Fantastic's identity with its new core values of honesty. Bro, holy shit. I can't get over the fact that they're 
they're talking about honesty and it's and <laughs> they're talking about their identity with its new core values of honesty bro honesty transparency and professionalism that's new for them they're admitting that straight up that is insane this is insane work man this is crazy all processes at fantastic will undergo continuous improvement to ensure that the community receives increasingly better products as a result i'm not buying it dog i'm not gonna lie this this, this doesn't move me at all the new fantastic brand embodied by its vibrant blue logo and bold geometric design shut the hell up bro why are y'all riding your own meat right now represents more than a mere visual update it signifies the company's renewed commitment to transparency and honesty <laughs> they keep saying that bro and it's fucking killing me they're straight up being like yeah we scammed you before all right we ain't gonna lie we did that. But hey, now though, now we're gonna be honest. Now we're committed to being honest and transparent and professional. Now, starting now. Subtle retro elements in the design honor the classic gaming era, merging nostalgia with a forward-looking vision. Dude, this is insane. This new identity stands as a strong declaration of Fantastic's dedication to building trust and aligning its actions with the principles of transparency, honesty, and professionalism as it progresses into the future. This sounds like an ex-boyfriend who like cheated on you, stole your money, let your cat die, and then they come back talking about some, nah, I've changed. Get the hell out of my face! We are introducing our new mission and vision, which mark the next chapter for Fantastic. Our mission focuses on delivering high quality gaming experiences, combining innovation, creativity, and tech. They're literally just saying the same shit over and over again, so it sounds nice, bro. How many times do I need to read that y'all are gonna deliver high quality gaming experiences and you're focused on transparency? I I don't buy it. I don't buy it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Our mission is to create games that will be loved for decades. I really, I really do find that hard to believe. I'm not gonna sit here and lie, man. Our vision is to become one of the most loved game companies by creating fantastic, innovative, and emotionally engaging experiences. One of the most loved game companies. Oh Lord, bro. Oh Lord. Fantastic 2.0, the plan for recovery. That shit is so ass. Guys, there's no way y'all are falling for this, right? Let's just look at a quick timeline of the day before and how it was released. June 2022 to March 2023. The game was originally scheduled to release in June 2022. I thought it was always scheduled for 2023. That's how you know. The timeline has been so fucked up for this game, but it was delayed to March 2023 to upgrade the game's engine. That's crazy. Second delay, January 23 to November 23. The game was delayed again due to trademark issues surrounding the title. That's when they got sued for their damn name. However, the studio later said the delay was planned before they learned of the trademark issues. Cap. November 23 to December 23. The game was delayed again and was released in early access on Steam on December 7th, 2023. The full release and port for PS5 and Xbox are scheduled for a later date. And of course we know that later date never came because four days after it dropped in early access, they took it off the market, shut it down, shut themselves down and ran with all the money. Yeah, they're deep fried, bro. So this is their new game they're trying to raise money to make. Escape factory escape from the deadliest factories in the world with a party of four to eight players and you can support the development of this game on kickstarters let's just check it out right now i'm curious man how many people are actually donating to this bullshit no fucking way you're telling me after literally scamming people they might as well have reached into some people's back pockets and ran off with their wallets bro people donated twenty three hundred dollars to them oh shit there's a story here this should be good help fantastic return once you helped us create fantastic through kickstarter today we need your support once again to to bring fantastic back by funding our new game <laughs> oh my fucking god you can't make this up we sincerely apologize for everything that happened and are committed to making things right we invite can't even take this seriously bro we invite you to take a look at our plan fantastic 2.0 which we just did where we share how we'll fix our past mistakes and are preparing to return better we truly hope for your support sincerely fantastic team and then they just got more info about their new game introducing escape factory escape factory is a physics-based multiplayer co-op escape game set in dangerous factories for four to eight players you play as life-weary workers trying to escape the vicious cycle of deadly factories from which there's no easy way out. Sounds like a regular 9 to 5. Legend has it that only one great and mysterious individual has ever escaped. Is this gameplay? So it's like Fall Guys, but more ass. That shit looks choppy as fuck. I know it's a gift, but what is that? Team up with four to eight players and dive into the ultimate party challenge. Face tough obstacles that demand real teamwork and sharp coordination. The only way to survive the deadly traps is by sticking together and staying focused. Experience dynamic escape action. Brace yourself for a wild ride through ever-changing traps, puzzles, and challenges. Quick thinking and flawless teamwork are crucial to outsmarting the dangers of making your escape. They got the dune sandworms in this shit, bro. What is going on? Step into dark, visually stunning industrial environments that are both 
both captivating and intense. Escape from a variety of unique, ever-evolving locations, each filled with its own set of challenges. Jesus Christ. It's like Fall Guys in a mix of Squid Games. I just, I cannot believe this is really happening, y'all. I genuinely can't. Fantastic is ready to make its strongest return yet. And yes, that means we've got stretch goals. These goals are designed to bring Escape Factory to life in ways we've only dreamed of. But we can only unlock these exciting additions with your support during this campaign. The more we raise, the bigger... There's no way this is what I'm seeing right now. I, there's no way. The more we raise, the bigger and better Escape Factory will become. And with your help, Fantastic will grow stronger with even more games on the horizon. Together, we can make history. $20,000 raised gets us the game launch secured and Fantastic's return. This is about to be the most painful thing to read ever. Another $30,000 and we can get the Steam Deck version. <laughs> Thank God. If we get them all the way to $100,000, we can get the console version for PS5. We need that. 150, these motherfuckers are crazy, bro. $150,000, you get free DLC plus two new locations. $200,000, we get the Nintendo Switch version. Great, we need that. $250,000, each location has its own unique soundtrack. What the fuck? You need $50,000 more to make a couple of soundtracks? For what? $300,000 raised will get us free DLC plus two more locations. $200,000 more will get us a new game mode. Are we sure they're not just pocketing this shit and about to go to Buffalo Wild Wings or some shit, dog? $700,000 raised will get us to a creator mode. And I'm guessing this is going to be a million or something, which they don't even know what the fuck they're going to do with that money at that point. And then here's some of the enemies and stuff in the game. Zaptron, Riptron, Guntron, Smash. This shit is ass, bro. Sandworm, Ice Warden. Get a digital copy of the... Wait a minute. Is this rewards for how much you're spending? This might be rewards for how much you're donating, I'm thinking. The fucking unmitigated gall for them to be talking about a $200 collector's edition, bro. There is no way they're dead ass. I understand that they're probably saying this is based on how much you donate. So if you donate $200, you'll get the collector's edition, I'm guessing. What are you, what are you, what's the max reward, bro? What is the max reward? I gotta know. $12,000. You get to meet the makers of the game. Enjoy an unforgettable dinner with the founders of Fantastic. Holy shit, you can meet the people. People that robbed you. Wait a minute, bro. This wait, wait a minute. Somebody could plan out the most elaborate revenge right now. If they had time and money, they could really do some shit. Let's say someone really got scammed by the day before, bro. If they got twelve thousand dollars around, they got the opportunity to do some crazy shit right now. Imagine they donate that twelve k, bro. Fuck it. Drop the bread. You get a dinner face to face with the people who robbed you blind, bro. What do you do? As a token of appreciation, you'll be named as a special sponsor in the game credits and on the supporters wall of our website. Additionally, you'll receive prestigious elite backer role on our community discord server. Oh, oh shit. Damn, need that. Maybe I'll drop the 12k myself. $5,000 spent, you get an exclusive little pet that follows you around. See, to me, this is a better, this is a better reward. For $3,000 donated, you get to design a location and a monster. That's low key tough. Would I spend the money to do it? Fuck no. I also think it's so funny that one of the biggest things on their main page is that everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, bro. People that make genuine mistakes, they definitely deserve a second chance. People that do things where they didn't know better, they absolutely deserve a second chance. Y'all knowingly scammed hundreds to thousands of people and just took the money and ran. Now you're coming back like, sorry, can we get some more money though? I ain't gonna lie. Go to hell, bro. There's no way this is happening right now. So they got 23 days left to go in this campaign and they have raised $2,348 and they're trying to get to about $15,000. Listen, guys, listen, listen, listen. I'm not a guy to hold a grudge. I am big on forgiving people. I am very big on redemption. I'm very big on not holding people to their worst moment. Fantastic games. Here's what I can say to you. Go to hell. I'm all for second chances, but y'all don't deserve it. I'm not going to lie. I am never going to forget what I saw when people actually started playing that game the day before. Even the lead up to that was the sketchy. We should have known. The fact that y'all even got away with that shit, bro, blows my mind to this day. This is just crazy, man. I would have never seen this come. I would have. I thought it was dead and gone. I thought they just got that off. And But no, they're trying to spin the block and go for the two feet. Oh, we're dead now i've heard that before let me know what you guys think about this man this is a crazy story i cannot believe this is happening right now are you gonna donate do you want to see them make a comeback let me know dog until next video i'll talk to you <laughs> i'll see you guys man peace we've been steady miles yeah running routes we mob yeah in a whip we mob yeah money straight up past yeah talking shit gonna cost yeah